hello everyone today i'm gonna teach you how to take command line input and how to make custom commands using command line inputs in c and c plus plus so here i have included a stream and a stdlib dot h don't move it man it moved it okay and you can also use cstdlib but i'm using this and i'm using namespace std I uh, mean method uh, with zero arguments so you need to pass in an argument int i you can name it anything and then char star star and variable name I uh, have named it c and you don't wanna use get ch it will pause the command or the command line input uh, you need to run this from cmd this application compiled application c out i and l and if i compile this and run this it will return me 1 means by default i value is 1 cause this compiler is running this exe with the command called add dot exe so uh, if you use console then you might know if you name the exe file it starts or if you type start and then name the e exe or html file it opens or it starts the link so by default the parameter count this int is parameter count and that will be one and if you print zero of c and then you will get the path which uh, this compiler is using to open that exe so this is the basic of command line input now i'm gonna make a add function or add something that will add all the parameters in front of the command and print the value which is the answer and if you just type in add it will give you error and if you just type first value only it will also give you an error so i have these errors in a notepad i have kept them to copy from so type if i is equal equal to one means the user has just given the add parameter that means we have zero numbers so here i can copy the first error and paste it so if i run this i will get that error no numbers are given to add so that means this compiler is just typing the path in the cmd and uh, as you know if you type the path of application it will start so we need to run it using command prompt so let me add second error else if i is equal equal to 2 now in here the user has only entered two parameters means one is the name and second is the number so what we will add the number with so you give a error to user and that is can't add only one number so if i compile this and then i go to the directory which i have saved it in and shift right click in there i will get this extra option which we would normally not get is open command window here so i will click that option and as you can see this exe is named as add so i will type in add in lower or upper case anything will work and if i type in one number it will say error can't add only one number and if i just give it one parameter it will say no numbers are given so i will keep this thing open cause it's just a console window then in here i'm just gonna type else and else we know that uh, everything is given nothing is missing and we can add so as you know we can't add small numbers we need to go big so i am using double variable cause double is very useful i'm gonna name k 
which will equal to 0 by default for long L so you can name this anything uh, as 1 cause we don't want that add parameter to come in so we are setting it to 1 then L is smaller equal to I then L plus plus so this for loop will run till L equals to I and we can type k equals k plus we can type k equals k plus a to f now this is the function for, for which we are using cstdlib or stdlib.h so this will convert integer to float and the integer is l of c c square bracket open l square bracket close and semicolon and we can see out k in at last so this is the whole thing you need so i go to my console window over here and i will type add 30 plus 40 which should equal to 70 and as you can see here it equals to 70 so it typed in little 70 over there but as you can see now i can add any number which i don't even know still it will give me the right answer and now this is kind of custom command but you can't go to just command prompt and type add and it will say unrecognized command so for that you need to install it and you made it but you need to install it so from here open your directory and copy that exe and go to your local disk windows system 32 and paste your exe in here and you have to press continue and that's only if you trust me so once that is copied you have to press in yes and that will be copied i have pasted one more exe so that is copied now if you start command prompt and press add it will say no numbers are given to add it will do according to our program if i give it 100 plus 40 plus 60 it should equal to 200 if my maths is right and it is equal to 200 and you can add up to any number like and also you can put in letter in there but those numbers will not count as you can see the that numbers are not counted like here dd plus dd is equal to zero so you can't make variables but still so that's it for this video and hope you have enjoyed this video so make sure you share it like it and subscribe to my channel